What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm gonna to be reacting to some of the street style from the London Fall 2019 menswear shows. So the fall 2019 menswear show circuit is underway. Things started in London. And for me, London street style is always very interesting. You know, you always see a real wide range of looks from super hardcore street style all the way to very tailored and dapper, which of course is such a huge part of the heritage of menswear in London. So without further ado, let's get into this. And we are actually going to be looking at a slideshow of 41 photos from Vogue Online. Here we go. All right. This is cool. I like this uh, look a lot. Um, it's not something I would wear, but I like the trench and the beanie cap, and I like the earth tones that are going on there. The sneakers are cool. Again, not something I would wear, but it's this is a cool look. There's Richard. I, uh, I love the suit and the turtleneck. Um, the beanie is interesting uh, color-wise, as is the, the jacket. Um, not super my style to wear a jacket like that with a suit, but you know, to each his own. Um, I don't know, it's interesting. The gray color palette is uh, very, it's almost like a blank slate, so you can really put any colors you want. And uh, those are just some really uh, big pops of color there. <laughs> mm, not really feeling this one. Yeah, I don't, really, I don't really have anything to say about this one. Not not for me. Okay, well, I guess I could give points for um, creativity. And I mean, if it's cold, you know, uh, that's a very practical solution. I dig the sunglasses, though. Those are really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Again, not for me. Wile E. Coyote. It's classic, I suppose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so um, my uh, reaction to this is colored by the fact that I just got a new puppy. <laughs> Robin and I just got a new puppy. Um, so to me, this looks like... Uh, <laughs> like like uh, the dude like, only had one jacket and he got a, had a new puppy too and the puppy like got a hold of it and you know <laughs> well it was cold out and he had to put that jacket on so um, yeah <laughs> yeah I don't know about that um, the hat yeah that's that's what it, that's that's okay and uh, I guess it's like a velvet track pant kind of oh that's kind of cool though you can see like um, it's like burgundy here and black here. That's kind of cool. Again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily wear it, but um, anyway, all right, moving on. <laughs> That's great. Um, I love a uh, woman who uh, dress in menswear. Love this classic color palette here. Um, love how the brown of the jacket pulls in the brown of the glasses and the gold is uh, again or her earrings I can't tell if they're gold they kind of look gold are pulled in there uh, beautiful beautiful bag and bonus points for the under or the turtleneck underneath the the blouse there there you go that's pretty cool this is pretty interesting um, yeah it's almost looks like to me like a uh, like a safety vest that a construction worker would wear, but uh, with some nice, like, and there's a there's like this football thing going on right here. Um, yeah, you see all sorts of things, and and this is like kind of um, interesting to me. I like the pattern. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those kids. I have no idea who they are. Uh, the fanny pack, I thought fanny packs like came and went. I mean, not like in the 80s. They came and went then too, but I know they were coming back. So I don't know. I don't really have anything to say about this one. Not my thing. Cool coat. Very cool coat. <clears throat> Can't tell if that's a, a shirt underneath or like a shirt jacket. 
anyway, there's like some nice uh, layers going on here. The color uh, contrast on the inside like that from the browns of his pants and um, the shearling coat there. It's pretty cool. I can get behind that. That's pretty sweet. Okay, um, I don't know if we're seeing a trend emerge here, but the uh, turtleneck under the shirt um, might be a thing. Might. Um, this is a cool look. I really like the um, the coat with the big plaid, and uh, I think that looks like houndstooth. And hey, you can wear white pants anytime. And white pants in winter is always sort of like a nice refreshing burst because it's like almost like you think of white pants to be more of a summer thing and I really think you can wear them in any season but it's really cool when you see them in the winter they really pop out as something fresh so this is a cool look all around. The fanny pack again and uh, like sort of like the uh, velour zip up sweater with a with a with a high neck I like what's going on here um, from the standpoint of you have like some tailored elements, with the trousers, the shearling coat is really interesting. There's like a athleisure, like but like luxe athleisure thing here. Fanny pack, you know, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, anyhow, that's that's kind of a cool look. That's cool. I'll dig. I dig that. Very simple. Very classic, very casual, very chic. I like the way the turtleneck is not um, folded down here. That's really cool. Um, it's kind of artfully disheveled. It's a very classic color palette, but that's like the one detail of this outfit that makes it look, that for me brings it up a notch from being just something very simple to something that has a little bit of interest. That's fun. Yes, this is badass and powerful. I mean, this sort of wider, fuller cut trouser, like a workwear inspired jacket and the hat is classic. And I mean, the whole, the whole outfit is about this scarf. Let's just say that. And, and it's, I love the, the, the mix of colors there. So this one is, is super, super, Awesome. Mm, I don't know. Robin and I uh, talk about tailored clothing on women because um, she, like, you know, us guys, we think of, uh, you know, we want the shoulders to be right and all this and this and that. And, and there's like a, a, a way that we cut the clothing. And sometimes like, uh, like this, the shoulders just look r really big and ridiculous to me. Um, and I, although I like, there was another look uh, previously with the orange under uh, shirt underneath the jacket that I thought looked really good. But these kind of like neon electric colors, just, this isn't really working for me. So we're going to move on. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Those coats are freaking awesome. All about the coat. Nothing else. Yeah badass that's a cool coat too not for me but it's a pretty cool coat all right nice uh, don't have much to say there i got some women of course because it's vogue that's a cool look yeah the coats so <clears throat> white pants again um looks like there's a cardigan underneath the coat it's all about but again it's all about the coat Coat is pretty sweet, um, very statement making. It's double breasted? No. Yes, I can't tell. It looks like it folds over, but it's really hard to tell whether it but how it buttons the way the photo is shot. Anyhow, that's cool. Very classic, simple. You know, uh, looks like a raglan sleeve coat that's nice hmm. Hmm. kids you know <laughs> more kids interesting 
Is that like a fishing net or a basketball net? I don't know. Uh, hmm. I don't. I don't get it <laughs> at all. It's like the bag thing happening, but like like if you covered it up, it would kind of look like uh like overalls. So I, I don't know what's going on here. This could just be like an attention grabbing thing. Nope. Wait, let's just go back to this guy for a second. So here's a good example of, um, you know, I don't know who this guy is, but I feel like um, street style has really changed uh, over the last 10 years or so. And it's because of social media, it's become a thing where, you know, people, it, it, at least when I have gone to New York Fashion Week in the past, it you could really see it start to change when it sort of to be it sort of started to be more about like being seen and being recognized and get your photo taken so you show up in like New York Times or a roundup on Vogue or something like that and it's it almost becomes too costumey and and this to me is 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 too costumey um but that's just me yeah there's <clears throat> there's some stuff going on here Interesting. That's pretty hardcore. That's cool. Like the, uh, I wonder if she's in Aries. <laughs> I like the uh, puffer underneath the trench and then the turtleneck underneath that. It's cool, A nice layering. Yes. <laughs> like so my eyes moved from the top of his look slowly down it's like he's got like a grandma thing going on with this kerchief and then it's like um like hip-hop in the body and then it's like um like second grade girl <laughs> with the backpack in his hand so i guess maybe this is like the uh evolution or 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 it's the cycle of life so you have the backpack of the young girl and then up to the uh, <laughs> the kerchief or of the grandma. I don't know. It's fashion is art, right? So that's my interpretation. There's no wrong answers. Mm. I'm trying to think of something to say here and uh, not really finding it. So we're just going to move on. Yes, this is pretty badass love the, the yeah everything it just works here you have texture you have pattern you have simplicity um very cool very cool cool i mean less is more and a statement sock richard again now this is a cool look um simple of course of course i'm gonna like it it's classic it's simple the coat love the herringbone it reminds me of uh the one uh coat that i have from ring jacket um that looks very similar but uh yeah that's that's pretty badass nice lapels nope nope times two <laughs> uh yeah i don't know mm, we're getting to the end here i got two more <clears throat> interesting layering. I would wonder what Robin would think about this one. And finishing off there uh, with not much to say. So <laughs> that was my reaction to uh, some of the London street style. Um, let me know what you thought. Let me know if what you thought of the looks down below in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to be doing one definitely for Pitti Uomo, and that will be out next week, so stay tuned for that. Um, and until then, thanks for watching, and stay tailored.